What a beautiful morning. Just the sort of day for a joke. Like, <laughs> why does a pelican keep fish in his beak? Because he hasn't got any pockets. <laughs> I do believe I've heard that one somewhere before. And I get a feeling it's not the first time that's going to happen today. <laughs> oh. There you are, Dougal. Oh, hello, Florence. How about we go for a nice little walk? <laughs> Good idea. Hmm, someone got out of the wrong side of the doggy bed this morning, didn't they? Did they? I didn't notice. <sighs> oh, I get it. It's Ermintrude and Brian and Dylan and everyone, isn't it? They've gone on holiday and you miss them. <laughs> Miss that irritating snail, or that pink cow, or that infuriating sleepy rabbit. <laughs> oh, that's them. They're back. <laughs> oh, Dougal. Here they are. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, well, 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 the wanderers return. Nice to have you back. Bring me anything, did you? No, oh, Florence. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Oh, and you too, Dougal. Hello, Florence. You've been keeping an eye on the old roundabout for me. Still in good working order. Well, a holiday is a good way of recharging the batteries, but it's certainly very pleasant to be back in my old surroundings again. Hello, postbox. <laughs> Lovely to have you all back, but one at a time, please. Now, Ermintrude, where have you been? No, oh, Florence, what a time I've had. I've been visiting my cousin Azalea. Run for your lives! The fire alarm just went off! No, Dougal Gerhardt. That was me. I was yodeling. I've been to see my cousin in Austria. Australia? Now, there's a coincidence. I've got an Australian cousin, Digger, his name is. You must remember the time he paid us a visit. <laughs> <laughs> you think that was funny? Wait till you hear this one. Now we'll see who the funny one is around a here. A pig walks in... Uh, uh, huh. Hey, Dougal, my old matey. I'm intrude. Would you like to smell my flower? What? Smell my flower! Oh, dear. Very well. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Oh. I didn't. <laughs> no, uh, I suppose you didn't. And, of course, if my cousin Digger hadn't been there, it would never have happened. More trouble than they're worth, cousins, particularly Australian cousins. Azalea's no trouble. And she isn't from Australia. She's Austrian. Brian! And... My little molluscular mate, what thrilling adventures have you had on your holes? Oh, I'm very glad you asked me that. I have spent an exciting, one might almost say riveting, week in the National Museum of Gravel. You and your gravel, Brian. Almost as much trouble as cousins, I recall. Do we have to, Florence? I mean, there must be better ways of spending the morning than looking at the latest addition to Brian's gravel collection. Oh, Dougal, Florence, glad you could make it. I'm intrude! <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have thought gravel could be the cause of so much trouble, would you? <laughs> it wasn't my gravel's fault. It was Ermintrude. If she hadn't stolen Mr Grimsdale's bicycle... Brian, how dare you imply that I am a thief? I borrowed it. Well, who ever heard of a cow riding a bike through my gravel? Hmm. Oh, well, it was all very unfortunate. But why don't we hear what Dylan did on his holidays? Dylan? <laughs> Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Dylan, you snooze-filled snorker, wake up. 
<laughs> like, what's happening, man? A blue elephant just drove by in a motorised bucket with a chicken on its head. Wow, like for real? No, you were dreaming. <laughs> like, I have the weirdest dreams. But I don't remember that one. Oh, that's enough, Dougal. Now, Dylan, what did you do on your holidays? Well, I, like, went to this amazing rock festival. At least, I think I did. I don't remember too much. I was asleep most of the time. Typical. It's a pity you lost that alarm clock I gave you all that time ago. I have here something to help you. It's something to help you stay awake. Like, wow, man. A special alarm clock that'll ring every few minutes. Like, wow. Again. So, like, ah, uh, where is it? Right here, round my neck. Oh, no. Uh, something the matter, Duke. I must have swallowed it. I've swallowed the clock. <laughs> of course, I hadn't really swallowed it. I just... <laughs> incredible. Quite incredible. The sleeping beauty of the rabbit world strikes again. I remember the time when... Dougal, we don't seem to have listened to anyone else all morning. Will you please pipe down and let someone else get a word in? Yes, yes. What about mm, someone else? else? Yeah, yeah, no, well, if that's the way you feel, I'll let you get on with your holiday reminiscences in peace. <laughs> I don't know. Some people don't know when they're in the presence of a first-class raconteur. <sighs> Look, I always say that all of these all very well, but there's nothing quite like coming home. <laughs> Tell me you've been on holiday too. Look, Mush, I've heard enough about holidays to last me from breakfast through so to... So, you've been on holiday too, then? No, I have not. I just stayed put here with Florence. Just the two of us. Quite peaceful it was when you come to think of it. Uh, she baked a pile too, then I ate a pile too. Pies, eh? Well, that reminds me. Dougal, it's unlike you not to eat your last sausage. Don't want to be greedy, Florence. Unlike some people. <laughs> Happy days! Me, a big bean and a sausage. You just can't beat a slap of feed. Now listen here, motor mouth. Will you please pipe down and let me get a word in? I... I... Hang on. Wasn't that what Florence said to me a little while ago? Hmm, maybe I was a bit full of myself. Perhaps I should have listened a bit instead of doing all the talking. I think I'd better get a few little peace offerings to try and smooth things over. <laughs> Mr Grimsdale! Hello there, Dougal. What can I get for you today? Well, everyone's been on holiday, see, and I'd like to get them a few homecoming presents. And have you been on holiday as well, Dougal? Me? Uh, not as such, no. But I have been places, you know. Oh, yes. Why, I've even been to the moon. I am about to go where no dog has gone before. You're mad, you are. Do you mind? I'm about to be the first dog on the moon. Now I've seen everything. Ten, nine, eight... Oh, let's get on with it. Five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> we have liftoff! <laughs> oh, a perfect textbook landing! This is a small step for dog kind! Wow! I never knew the moon was pink! It's so much more beautiful than Earth! Now, Dougal, I don't think you actually did go to the moon. Well, perhaps not. <laughs> but anyway, how about those presents? Yes, of course. Coming right up. Yes, the International Roundabout and Merry-Go-Round Symposium was an eye-opener and no mistake. <sighs> I I'm, I'm not boring you, am I, Florence? No, Mr Rusty, not at all. It's just that, well, maybe I was a little harsh on Dougal. Maybe he was just a little bit jealous of you all. Yes, perhaps all that chat was because he was pleased to have us back. Let's go and find him. Thanks, Mr. Grimsdale. See you. Hello, Hello boys. Dougal! What 
is the matter? Oh, are you still being Mr. Grumpy Boots, Dougal? No, I am not. Oh, look, I'm sorry about earlier on. Me and my big mouth, eh? And to show that I really am sorry, I've got homecoming presents for you all. Awesome. Oh, Dougal, get yeah. yeah. oh, oh, should have. I'm glad you did. Well, Florence, yours isn't a homecoming present. You've not been away. It's just a present to say thank you. You are kind. But for what? For being Florence. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard me say this before, but I do believe it's time to party! <laughs> I wish it was time for bed, man. Come on the magic roundabout. Follow me and you'll be fine. So many friends are waiting for you. Just for you. I'm waiting for you. Just for you. Just for you. What a beautiful day. Just the sort of day to ask, when is a car not a car? When it turns into a garage! <laughs> and do you know, I rather feel like a little spot of transformation magic. <laughs> Florence? Florence? Whatever's the matter? Oh, it's just this silly book Mr. Rusty lent me. It's got a really happy ending. You see, there's this handsome prince, and he's turned into a frog by a wicked witch, and only a kiss from a young damsel, pure of heart and kind of nature, can release him from the enchantment. <sighs> Ooh, silly's the word, Florence. Turned into a frog indeed. What a load of piffle. <laughs> it's just a story. Piffle and nonsense. Piffle and nonsense, eh? <laughs> Piffle, rot and nonsense. <laughs> Piffle, nonsense. <laughs> Can't swallow. <laughs> Can't swallow and... Hello, Brian. Can't stop to chat. I'm about to help myself to a spot of lunch. <laughs> Brian, what's he doing here? And to what do we owe this pleasure, my little slimy sidekick? <laughs> hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, very clever. Want to play, do you? Well, let's see you do this. Brian, are you? You're me. I'm a snail. I'm a snail! Ah! Ah! I take it all back, Florence. It wasn't piffle. I've been turned into a snail. <laughs> oh, just a minute. What happened in Florence's book? The frog prince was turned back into his rightful form by a kiss from a young girl, pure of heart and kind of nature. And they don't come much purer and kinder than... Lawrence! Oh, what a perfect pink cow! I'm just the loveliest creature So I'll take a well-deserved bow Oh, what a pleasant surprise! If it isn't little Brian! It isn't. Have you seen Florence? It's a matter of some importance. Florence? No, I haven't seen her, Brian. And will you stop calling me Brian? <gasps> oh, don't tell me, dear heart. You've changed your name. How utterly sweet. And what shall we call you from now on? Dougal. For pity's sake, the name is Dougal. No, dear heart. You're Brian. Dougal's a dog, remember? He was a dog. He's been transformed into a snail by a wicked witch or something. <laughs> oh, Brian, you are funny. I am not being funny, you spotty potty pink dog. I am Dougal, and I need to find Florence. Hmm, now you come to mention it. Brian does have a much nicer face than you. Now see here, Miss Hoity Horns. Yes, you're Dougal, all right. Only Dougal would be that rude. Well, fancy being turned into a snail. I don't fancy it one little bit, thank you very much. And I need to find a young girl, pure of heart and kind of nature, to kiss me. That's the only way I'm going to turn back into a dog again. Well, if you think I'm going to kiss you after all the names you've called me, you can think again. You... Oh, give me strength. Florence! 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 Oh, Dylan, have you seen Florence? And... Oh. Dylan! Uh, oh, who... Dylan, I will ask this question very slowly in words of one syllable so as not to confuse you in any way. Have you seen Florence? <laughs> oh, that is just wicked, man. It's like brilliant. <laughs> what do you find so amusing all of a sudden, <laughs> Mr Chuckles? That imitation of Dougal. You've got him down to a T. What do you find so amusing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Ermintrude. I'll go on to Ermintrude. If he had just slightly more brains, he might make the grade as a carrot. Have you seen Florence? No, that doesn't sound anything like Ermintrude, man. Of course it doesn't sound like Ermintrude, man. I... Oh, 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 what's the use? Perhaps I was a little harsh on poor Dougal. He was obviously out of sorts, what with being turned into a snail. <laughs> I shall be the big-hearted cow that I always am. I shall kiss the poor soul and return him to his rightful form. Morning, Ermitrude. Lovely day. You'll be pleased to hear that I've changed my mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, about what? About kissing you. Pucker oh. up, dear heart, and prepare to be kissed as you've never been kissed before. Ermitrude, this is so sudden. I, I don't think I'm ready for it. I, I, Come on, I one quick kiss, it won't hurt. Oh. <laughs> so you're playing hard to get, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being a snail. <laughs> Morning, Brian. Lovely day. I am not... Br oh, what's the use? 
Yes, morning, Mr Grimsdale. Um, I couldn't impose upon you for a lift, could I? Why, yes, of course, Brian. Hop aboard. And if we could find Florence, I'd be eternally grateful. Let's see what we can do, eh? Oh. Oh, to get away! Ah, oh, 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 that cart! This should give me a little more speed. If I can just... Oh, no! Wrong way! Other way! That way! Oh, Dougal, you little tease! So, Brian, why so eager to catch up with Florence? Oh, you know, this and that, bit of a chat and so on. Yes, I see. Hello! Food! <laughs> oh, oh, get away from me, you Whoa, Mr Grimsdale! <laughs> keep your eyes on the... Whoa, Mr Grimsdale! Come back! How do you drive this thing? Oh, oh, oh. Come back! Come back here with my dinner! Help me! Would you stop this thing? Oh, 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 such fun! Thanks for the book, Mr. Rusty. I really enjoyed it. You're very welcome, Florence. Always happy to to. Ooh. Oh my! It sounds like Dougal and Dylan and Brian, and it sounds as if they're in trouble. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my word! Are you all right? Right! Where are you, you little tinker? <laughs> no! Hold still, Dougal. I'm intrude. That's not Dougal. No, I am. Uh, there's two of me. Brian? But you're Brian. And you're... Brian? No, he's Brian. I'm Dougal. I got sort of swapped. I'll say you did. And I bet I know who's behind all this. Zebedee? <laughs> you called? Have you got anything to do with this? Well, it was just a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Have you got any idea what I've been through? Or me? Uh, no offence, I'm intrude. You're none taken, dear heart. Uh, excuse me, do you think you could see your way to putting me down at all? Oh, oh. <laughs> so sorry, little Brian. Well, it's all very easily put to rights. All Dougal needs is a kiss from a damsel pure of heart and kind of nature. Brace yourself, Dougal. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I, I think Zebedee means someone else. Me? I can't think of anyone kinder. Mm. Yippee! I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Florence. You're the best. I do believe it's time to party! <laughs> I wish it was time for bed, man. Come on the magic roundabout. Follow me and you'll be fine. So many friends are waiting for you. Just for you. I'm waiting for you. Just for you. Just for you.
Beautiful morning, just the sort of morning to say abracadabra. Oh, whoa, help! Uh, I do believe I rather overdid the magic there. <clears throat> Hocus pocus, bim bam bala. Ah, that's better. Uh, magic's all very well, but you have to be careful not to overdo it. <laughs> Unless I'm very much mistaken. No, I'm not. Hi! Whoa! Steady, Dougal. Sorry, Florence. You've been baking and this dog's ready for pie. <laughs> Dougal, you're so greedy. There'll be no pie for you until you've invited everyone round here for a tea party. I'm on my way. <laughs> I do love the smell of a new consignment of gravel. <laughs> and you, I do believe, are plum slate. Oh, what are you doing in my gravel pile? Oh, just hanging around. Well, you can hang around somewhere else. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> you will be. <laughs> and so will you, Brian. All right, you snail. What's the idea of throwing that lamp at me? I do apologise, Dougal. I didn't know you were there. I came here in good faith to deliver a message and all you can do is bounce lamps off me, Bonce. Oh, sorry, Dougal. Did it hurt? I'll say it did. Look there. I've probably got a bump the size of the Eiffel Tower. Oh. <laughs> a tea party, Dougal said. How utterly sweet of dear Florence. Just a few more flowers and I'll soon... Ooh. What a quaint little lamp. Just the sort of thing to put on my dressing table to keep all my little bits and bobs in. Um... I can't actually see any bruising or contusions as such, Dougal. No? Well, I've probably got serious internal injuries then, and no thanks to you. I've a good mind not to tell you about the invitation to Florence's tea party this afternoon. Oh, thank you, Dougal. About four o'clock? Yes. No, I, I, I mean... Uh, oh. <laughs> Fine way to treat a friend throwing talking lamps at him. It's just not... Just a minute. Talking lamp? Lamps don't usually talk unless they're magic. <gasps> that was a magic lamp. <gasps> Got to find it. That lamp could grant me three wishes. That's what magic lamps do. Oh, think of all the pies. I could be the world's first bone millionaire. <sighs> Where are you? Come to do goal. Hello, Doodle Dear Heart. Looking for something? Yes. I, I mean, no, no. Just, you know, sniffing about. <laughs> oh. Doodle Dearest, is there something the matter? No, 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 not at all. No, 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 no. I'm in trouble. Yes, dear heart? Uh, that lamp. I wonder, could you see your way to giving it to me? Why are you so keen to have it? Oh, well, I'm not. <laughs> I just, it's, uh, I mean, well, hi. <laughs> See you at tea time, Dougal. See you at tea time. <laughs> I may be a little late. <laughs> How about, like, a carrot? No, it's not really, like, presenty enough. Um... Party with cakes and jam and scones and cakes and tea. Dylan, dear heart, are you going to Florence's tea party? Yeah, I'm like going if I can think of a present to take, that is. Well, why don't you give her this lamp? I was going to keep it, but... Well, thanks, Ermintrude. I'm going to take it home and polish it up and make it look all nice. Hmm. Uh, Dylan. 
There, a lovely bunch of flowers for a lovely girl. I'll just pop inside and make myself beautiful. Aha! The Lady of the Lamp returns. <laughs> and as soon as she leaves, I'll nip inside, give the old lamp a bit of a shine, and voila! Three wishes are mine for the taking. <gasps> but what if she decides to give it a polish before I get to it? Oh, no! Help! A little spot of lipstick, a dash or two of rouge, a smattering of the score. There it is, the voice that shattered a thousand windows. Wait a minute, I think I've just had a brilliant idea. Sneaky, but brilliant. <laughs> Ermintrude! Doodle, dear heart, something the matter? No, no, it's just that uh, there's this concert promoter down in the village looking for talent. No, oh, a concert promoter. If you hurry, you might catch him. Quick, chop, chop, fame beckons, Ermintrude. No, oh, how thrilling! Oh, I won't forget you when I... <laughs> right, where is it? Let me see. Come to Dougal. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No concert promoter. Well, I've not seen one, Ermintrude. Oh. Hmm. So why did Dougal tell me there was? <laughs> where can she have put it? <laughs> In this cupboard? Oh, oh, oh help! Ouch! Stupid place to leave a wall! Dougal! Ermintrude, you're back! You're... Oh. Well, what were you doing in there? Me? Uh, I was uh, looking for my ball. Sort of bounced inside. <laughs> Sorry, uh, can't stop. Things to do. Dougal! I... D Dougal! <laughs> It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, the lamp. Shh, let sleeping rabbits lie, I always say. Bam, 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 bam. Come on now, gently does he. Hey, Dukester, I was going to give that lamp to Florence. Oh. Hey, you, monster. I haven't even polished it, man. Dylan, what? <laughs> ah, Dougal. I've got a bone to pick with you. Two, in fact. Dougal. Well, I seem to have made quite good time. I do hope I'm not too early for the tea party. <laughs> Dougal seems to be in a hurry. Maybe I'm not as early as I thought. <laughs> Come back, Duke man! Oh, dear. Looks like I'm late. Dougal! I hope I get there before all the comestibles have been consumed. <laughs> Dougal? Dougal? What are you up to? Dougal! <sighs> oh dear, what's he done now? Ooh. He like took the lamp I was going to give you. And he told me there was a concert promoter in the village. Then he barged into my house and practically wrecked the place. Dougal? There's no one at home. Dougal, come out of there at once and tell me just exactly what's been going on. Well? I'm sorry. I've been a bad, bad, greedy dog. You see, this is a magic lamp, and I wanted to keep all the wishes for myself. I should have shared. I should have... I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, well, Mintrude, please forgive me. You too, Dylan. Hmm. I'll never do it again. Hmm. Look, I, I, I'll tell you what. I wish your house was all spick and span again. Your wish is my command. And I wish that everyone would please, please forgive me. Do you know, I think he really means it. Yeah, like he sounds sorry. Oh, I am. As sorry as sorry can be. 
Oh, very well. You're forgiven. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I wish I'd never seen that lamp. Oh. Zebedee, I should have guessed you'd be at the bottom of all this. Well, <laughs> I hope I'm not too late. Not at all. In fact, you're just in time to party. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was time for bed, man. Come on the magic roundabout. Follow me and you'll be fine. So many friends are waiting for you. Just for you. I'm waiting for you. Just for you. Just for you. Come on the magic roundabout Follow me and you'll be fine So many friends magic are waiting for you Just for you, just for you Magic A dark, starry night in the Enchanted Garden. But things can go bump in the night. And where is Mr. Rusty off to at so late an hour? <laughs> I'll only be gone for two nights, Florence. I'm off to visit some friends. Are you sure you've got everything you need, Mr. Rusty? Train ticket. Right here, Dougal. Well... I hope you have a lovely time catching up with your friends, Mr. Rusty. Oh, yes, thanks, Florence. Bye, Dougal. And look after the magic roundabout for me. We will. Don't worry about a thing. <sighs> now you've given us a job to do, Florence. <laughs> Don't be a grump, Dougal. When was looking after the magic roundabout ever a problem? <laughs> This is ridiculous. Mr Rusty's only been gone a few hours and we're already back at the magic roundabout making sure it's all right. We did promise to keep an eye on things, Dougal. 
Yes, but not in the middle of the night. <gasps> Come on, Florence. Standing here in the dark, surrounded by squeaky bats and hooting owls, isn't my idea of fun. <laughs> Sleep well, roundabout horses. See you in the morning. <sighs> it's a full-time job looking after the magic roundabout. <gasps> One of the horses is gone. What? Just checking the magic roundabout. Mr. Rusty asked me to look after the roundabout in his absence. Like, he asked me too, man. Well, we've all been asleep on the job. One of the magic roundabout horses has disappeared overnight. This is disastrous. Mr. Rusty will be most upset. Maybe there's a horse thief in the district. A horse thief? Oh, I don't think so, Dougal. There must be another explanation. One thing's for sure, we've got to find that missing horse before Mr Rusty gets back. <laughs> Aha! Footprints! Hmm, these footprints might lead to the horse thief. Little horsey. Here's a sugar lump for a good little horsey. Oh man, this is like exhausting. <sighs> <gasps> the horse thief. <gasps> ah! Ah! Get off. Oh, hi, Florence. Oh, Dylan. So much for our detection work. No sign of either the horse thief or the roundabout horse. Well, we can't waste any more time. We'll just have to make a replacement. Excellent idea, Florence. <gasps> Let's have a competition to see who can make the best roundabout horse. We can't just leave the magic roundabout. The thief might come back and take another horse. Perhaps a round-the-clock watch on the roundabout would be appropriate. Just what I was about to say, Brian. I'll take first watch so that you can start making your horses. I'll replace Florence, then Dylan will do the third watch. Oh. Ermintrude will relieve Dylan, then Brian will take the dawn watch. Right. Off you go. You've all got plenty to do. There's nothing like a pretty dapple car. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, up a bit. Uh, down a bit. <laughs> that beats a silly horse statue any day. <laughs> he doesn't bear the remotest resemblance to a horse, but it is rather an impressive piece of Neolithic rock. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is so cool, man. <laughs> right, Florence. I'll take over from here. Oh, thanks, Dougal. <sighs> Just let anyone try coming near here while I'm on watch. Huh? <laughs> What's that? Do it! <laughs> 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 Hey, Doodle Doo, like you told me to come and do something in the middle of the night. Oh, Dylan, you've come to take over my watch. <laughs> oh. You've got to stay awake, otherwise, you might miss the phantom horse thief. Eyes peeled, Dylan. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> wow, like what's with the weird noise? I better go and check it out. <laughs> um, hello, tree. <laughs> la 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 la
<laughs> What's up? You should be guarding the magic roundabout. But I heard a horse like neighing. Hmm. You probably dreamt it knowing you. Right, you. I'll take over now. Cool. I'm going home for a serious sleep. There'll be no shilly shallying whilst I'm on the job. <laughs> oh. oh, my hat. Dylan was right. There is a horse around here. No, oh, my cow's gone. Mm. Oh. oh, Brian, I wasn't expecting you so early. As I am a snail of very slow progress, I gave myself plenty of time to get here. Well, I'm relieved that you are here, Brian. My cow carving has come to life and galloped off with the phantom horse thief. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lawrence, we've had the spookiest night. There were growling tigers, and my cow carving came to life and galloped off. Uh, that cow carving? <laughs> Maybe it was all a bad dream. I think not, Florence. Like, man, did anyone else get, like, freaked out by weird noises last night? You too, Dylan. Hmm. Zebedee, have you been mischief-making? <laughs> well, I might have played a few little tricks in the night. Well, really, the cheek of it. <gasps> Thanks for the lift train. I'd never have got these things here without you. Oh, my goodness! Train's gone off to get Mr Rusty. Quickly, we've got to judge the competition right away. <laughs> I've never seen a horse with horns. <laughs> it's a lot more impressive than your heap of smelly old bones. <laughs> that lump of stone looks as much like a horse as a yo-yo. Oh, have you know I spent a great deal of time refining that piece, Dougal. Don't know why you bothered. And what may I ask is that? Like, can't you see, man? It's a guitar. Um, this is what I made. Wow! It's a superb horse, Florence. Not bad for a first attempt. I think everybody has tried their best. But yours, Florence, is the only one that actually looks like a horse, which is what we need right now. Hooray! Florence is the winner! <laughs> <gasps> Quick, let's get it on the roundabout. Thanks, train. Oh, it's so good to be home again. It's, um, good to have you back, Mr Rusty. You know, I completely forgot to tell you that I took one of the roundabout horses away with me. What? what? Yeah, it was looking a little bit the worse for wear, so I took it to the workshop to be repainted. It, it's drying out there now. You took the horse? Not the phantom horse thief. We thought it had been stolen, so we made you another one. Oh, that's wonderful. I've always wanted a spare one so that I could give my hard-working horses an occasional well-earned rest. We made those, too. Oh. oh, I'd love to keep them all to remind me of my very dear friends who I missed so much whilst I was away. <laughs> the mystery of the Phantom Horse Thief is finally resolved. It's time to party! <laughs>
<laughs> what a beautiful day. Just the sort of day to ask. What's grey has four legs and a trunk? A mouse going on holiday. <laughs> Morning, Dougal. Sorry, can't stop. Busy, busy, busy. Stone me. I've seen slower spaceships. Dougal, I thought I asked you to put that rubbish bag in the bin. Yes, I was going to, but Mr Grimsdale just went by. Come on, Dougal. What sort of excuse is that for not doing your chores? Well, I... <laughs> can't stop. Deliveries to make and so on. See what I mean? Uh, yes, I do. Wow. Perhaps he's in training for the Delivery Man Olympics. Don't think there's any such thing, Dougal. Uh, steady, Mr Grimsdale. Now then, who's next on the list? Oh, 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 oh. What's to do? Very busy. And I've never seen him go so fast. Yeah, yes, he does seem to have been a bit busy lately. Hello. Looks like Walter Wizz is back again. Oh, no! He's fallen asleep! Hey, Mr Grimsdale! Wake up! Wait. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Oh. Are you all right? Just about, Florence. Though I don't think my bike is. And I've still got some deliveries to make. And then... Mr Grimsdale! Oops! Oh, sorry. The deliveries to make and so on. No, you haven't, Mr Grimsdale. It's high time you had a holiday. A holiday? But who's going to make the deliveries? Oh, I expect someone will volunteer. There's lots of kind-hearted folk around here. Oh, Dougal, that's so kind of you. What? I didn't... I mean, I wasn't... I mean, I, I can't ride a bike. And anyway, it's broken. That's all right, Dougal. I've got a little handcart you can use. Oh, oh thank you. How kind. <laughs> Now, you've got the fairy cakes for Ermintrude, the lettuce for Brian, sausages for Mr McHenry, pizza for Dylan, Florence's usual groceries and your pie, Dougal. Oh, whoop-de-doo. And I'll have your bike fixed for you when you get back. Now you have a nice, long, restful holiday and don't worry about a thing. No, you just leave that to me. Bye! I'll send you a postcard! Have a wonderful time! Bye. Why me? Why do I always get lumbered with you? Oh, let's try pushing. Oh, oh, it's a dog's life. Dylan, I've got your pizza. It's all right for some. Pizza! What? Did someone like say pizza? Yes, me, Mr. Dogsbody. Servant, lackey, and general all round doormat. Like, nice to meet you, Mr. Dogsbody. Mm. What? What? You know, Mr. Dogsbody, you remind me of someone. Dylan, I. No, no, don't tell me, it'll come to me. Dylan, when I said. Dougal, that's it, you look just like him. Amazing. You could be like twins. I am Dougal, you biffy bunny. I thought you looked like him. So, why did you say you were Mr Dogsbody? Because I've been given the job of taking all Mr Grimsdale's deliveries to, 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 to you. Mr Grimsdale said he didn't think you'd mind if he asked you to make his deliveries for him. Oh, like, pleased to be of service, man. There's lettuce for Brian and fairy cakes for... Oh, you'll get the hang of it. Yeah, of course I will. On my way. Ciao, adios, and something else beginning with goodbye. See you, Duke Star. Yes. <laughs> now for a peaceful afternoon's bone crunching. Oh, hello, Dougal. How's the Dougal delivery service going? Oh, just fine, thanks, Florence. In fact, I only had to make one to Dylan, and then he said he'd do the rest for me. Well, that was kind of him. And when do you think he'll get here with your pie? My pie? I'd forgotten about that. Oh, great. Where are you going? To get my pie. Heaven knows when that carrot-crunching rabbit's going to get here. <laughs> oh... Like, this delivery gig's, like, heavy duty, man. Hello, tree. Pink is the colour, I'm in 
controls the name And being sweet and lovely, that's my claim to fame No matter what the weather, come rain or sun Oh, the world's exploded! Oh, it looks like Mr Grimsdale's deliveries have all arrived at my house I wonder why I'd better take them back to him and find out Oh, my lettuce was supposed to be here ages ago. I can't imagine what could be keeping him. What can be keeping who, oh little Shelly chum of mine? And what, pray, have you got to be so cheerful about, Dougal? Oh, someone got out of the wrong side of the shell this morning. I don't suppose you've seen him, have you? Who? Mr Grimsdale. He was supposed to deliver my lettuce ages ago and I've been getting a trifle peckish. No more than a trifle. Well, why don't you have a couple of mouthfuls of gravel to keep you going? Hmm. <laughs> it's just a little joke. <clears throat> you haven't seen Dylan recently, have you, Brian? No. Why? Oh, no reason. Just uh, wondering, that's all. <laughs> see you, Brian? Yes, and if you see Mr Grimsdale, tell him to look sharp with my lettuce. I can't imagine what silly Mr Grimsdale can have been thinking of, sending all his deliveries to me. Ah, there you are. Not hard to find. You could probably hear those snores on the moon. Dylan! Mr Forty Winks, wake up! Oh, hi, Dougal. My pie, if you please. What pie? The pie you're supposed to be delivering to... to, to where are the parcels you're supposed to be delivering? I'll tell you where they are, man. Yes, please do. They're gone, that's where. Gone? Gone where? Beats me. They were here just before I went to sleep. Oh, for goodness sake. Like, don't stress, man. They'll be somewhere. Yes, but where? Ah, Florence, dear heart. I'm glad I found you. I'm intrude. Hello. You haven't by any chance seen Mr Grimsdale, have you? I'm rather worried about him. Yes, so was I. That's why I sent him on holiday. On holiday? Then why did all his deliveries arrive at my house? What? I took them back to the village for him. Oh, who's going to deliver them if Mr Grimsdale's on holiday? Dougal. Oh, do you think he would, dear heart? How sweet of him. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Dougal. Any sign of my lettuce? Not unless you've seen a handcart going this way. I don't want a handcart. I want my lettuce. And I want my pie. Ah, there you are, Dougal. How are the deliveries going? The deliveries? <laughs> uh, Dylan can explain. Do I take it that Dylan was supposed to be bringing me my lettuce? No, Dougal was. And because he was too lazy to carry out the job, he passed it on to Dylan. Isn't that right, Dougal? No. I, I mean, I, I would have carried it on, but Dougal, I mean... Dougal, I want my lettuce. And I want my groceries. And Mr McHenry will need his sausages. All right, all right. I get the message. Oh... Your sausages, Mr. McHenry. Thank you. <laughs> Special delivery. Up uh, to uh, up to uh, hard tack and emergency rations. <laughs> uh, Dougal, don't know why you couldn't have fetched this yourself. You're just across the road from the shop. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, Brian. One lettuce. Uh. Thank you, Dougal. Is that all the deliveries, <sighs> Dougal? All except your groceries and my pie. Ooh. And now I'm too tired to eat it. But wait! Oh! Zebedee! There is just one more delivery. Oh, I knew it. A delivery dog's work is never done. Ah, but I think you might like this delivery, Dougal. And everyone else, too. It's from Mr Grimsdale. Ahem. Having a wonderful time here at the seaside. Thanks for the opportunity to put my feet up. <laughs> Wish I could be with you for your celebration. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what celebrations? The ones we're going to have when I say it's time to party! <laughs> I 
wish it was time for bed. 